Today on this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, I am talking about this water bag right here. This comes from a company called Smart Bottle. Now, in my opinion, it should be Smart Bag because this isn't much of a bottle, is it? But what we have here is a very interesting product which could serve and fit into many different activities. Overlanding, prepping, survival, camping, you could use these for backpacking, and so much more. What makes this product so special in my opinion are these facts here. First off, when it's empty, these bags are very much lightweight. Next, when you're not using them, you can dry them out, roll them up, and they take up no space inside of your vehicle or inside of your house. That's huge, especially for overlanders. If you're doing it part-time, oftentimes you have that question like, what am I going to do with all of this gear? And this product, because it's so collapsible and compressible, solves an issue. Now talking about this bag specifically, this is a double walled nylon bag that is reinforced all over the place. The bag itself, when empty, is very lightweight and it comes in at seven ounces without a lid. Now the bag that you see here is the 2.6 gallon version. And it should be mentioned that Smart Bottle has numerous sizes and versions on their website. Double wall. They also have a single wall, which is quite a bit less expensive. Size wise, they have a 750 milliliter version, a wine bottle, a one gallon version, the 2.6, a 5.3, and so on. Now, according to the manufacturer's website, this is 14 mil nylon double wall. You have the two grommets at the top. You have the grab handle up here. And you have the same features down at the bottom. Double grommets, handle. You can hang these if you want to, if you need to. Otherwise, it sits flat and is very much in a cube shape. I'm sure you noticed this here. Made in the United States. How about that? With these bags, if you go out to purchase one, you could purchase them with all sorts of different caps and spouts. This one specifically comes with an 18 millimeter fast pour spout, which I will show you in just a minute. Additionally, I do have this cap here, which allows you to connect both the cap and the spout together, which is incredibly handy. When I'm doing some overlanding and I'm traveling, I have the cap on. And once I get parked, I switch over to the pour spout. In this position, it doesn't leak at all, as you can see there. Turning the nozzle, that is the fast pour. Oftentimes when I get to camp, I'll put the spout on, turn the bag on its side, walk away, come over, and fill up whenever I need to. And for that purpose, it works incredibly well. Now that we've taken a look at the bag, let's start with my pros. What do I think about this product? First off, the value here is out of this world. Take a guess at how much this costs with the pour spout. Go ahead, pause the video, comment down below, share your thoughts. At the time of filming, you could purchase the 2.6 gallon bag with the pour spout, the 18 millimeter, for $12.45. And in my opinion, that is an incredible deal. When it comes to overlanding specifically, there are many options out there which allow you to bring your water along with you, fluid containers and whatnot. And most of them tend to be extremely expensive. What you have here is a very durable, very tough product that makes carrying water when you need to very easy. And then when you don't need to, you roll it up, you store it, and it's out of the way. It takes up very little space. In my opinion, that's one of the biggest pros for this product. Now, I've mentioned that it's tough, that it's durable, and it is. I've been running these since maybe January, and right now it's July. I've had no issues with this bag. I actually have three of these bags from Smart Bottle. I have two 2.6s, and I also have a 5.3 gallon. And I have found that the 2.6 is the perfect size. For my adventures, depending on what they are, I will have one of these, maybe two of these filled up. With the 5.3, that's a heavy bag. 5.3 gallons is right around 40 pounds. So the 2.6 is right around 20 pounds. Now, 40 pounds isn't really all that heavy, but if you're trying to maneuver this thing inside of your vehicle, you're at odd angles, it can be a little bit of a struggle. So yeah, I personally like the 2.6, but there are bigger versions out there. Throughout the winter and spring and going into summer now, I've had this bottle inside of my truck and again, I've had no issues. I've thrown this around. I've taken it all over North Carolina. In the wintertime, it froze over and over and over, and it never did bust. This bag has never leaked. Even when it fell off the tailgate of my truck, I didn't have an issue. Speaking of which, with it being a bag, not a bottle, it can be a little topsy if you push on it. Otherwise, it does sit there nice and level, and it's stable. 
Next up, I really do like the design of these bags. It's a good shape. I like the grommets. You can hang these from the handle or from the grommets itself at either end. You can easily pick it up. It makes a good handle. And even with the 20 pounds of weight, thanks to the water, I've had no issues with the handle here. It's never torn. The nylon material hasn't stretched. It's a good quality bag and handle. According to Smart Bottle, each one of these bags passes a United Nations drop test for emergency water. And that means that the bag is dropped 10 times from two meters and has no issues. Now, if you go looking for these bags on YouTube, you won't find a whole lot, but there are a few videos of people like throwing these things around, running them over and whatnot. I'm not going to run them over and I'm not going to throw them off the roof either, but I can tell you with my experiences, they have held up well. At no point in time have there been any punctures, any cuts, any leaks, nothing like that. You can see the seals on the sides here and just how thick they are. So it would take quite a bit of pressure to get one of these bags to leak. These bags are BPA free. They remain upright when partially full. The bag can freeze, no big deal. And again, they are made in the United States. And that fact alone brings me back to the price. $12 for the 2.6 is an awesome price. You would expect something like this being made in the United States would cost a whole lot more. And that simply isn't the case. I'm very impressed with that aspect. I really am. You can store these full of water for a very long period of time without any issues. They're easy to transport. They're easy to clean. They're flexible. You can put some pressure on there to get the water out faster if you need to. And the last pro for these is that you can use them with water filtration systems such as those from Sawyer. In fact, Smart Bottle has their own filtration kit, which you can check out if you're interested. Now, when it comes to cons, I don't have many. One of them is that there's no labeling on this bag other than the company name and their website. It also states made in the United States, but it doesn't tell you the size of the bag. So if you have numerous sizes, you can't quickly look, identify, and grab the size that you need. So if you have like a 5.3, a 2.6, and a 1, you actually have to take your time Go through each one, pull them out, and compare the sizes to find out which one you're looking at. Next up, the Smart Bottle website is not very good in my opinion. There's very little information there about their products, such as dimensions. It doesn't state anywhere on their site for their products what the dimensions are, which in my opinion needs to change because that is information that people look for and will look for if they go out to purchase one of these products. Everything else in my opinion is a pro with this product. And in truth, I have no problem recommending this. These bags are fantastic. And let's say that you're going out for an extended backpacking trip. You could take one of these, you could take two of them without adding much weight to your pack. Once you get to the campsite, you fill them up and you have water for days, for days. For overland purposes, they really shine big time. For survival, for prepping, fantastic. And I'm sure that there's all sorts of applications where these will fit very nicely into. Before I forget, there is a wide range of accessories that Smart Bottle offers at their website for these bags. All sorts of different caps, spouts, tubes, and whatnot. And again, their prices are very much fair, in my opinion. And that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about these Smart Bags? <laughs> I'm, I'm changing the name for you. It's now Smart Bag. In my opinion, these are some of the best water storage solutions out on the market. The price is good. The quality is great. The capacity is excellent. And you can collapse them and store them with ease when you don't need them. For those who are limited on space but have a need for high capacity at certain times, this is an awesome option to consider. If you have a question for me, make sure to email me. I will address it for you. Take care. Strength and honor. See you around.